Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge in reactive programming with RxJS. One of our viewers has a question about how to effectively wait for two observables to complete before proceeding with their application logic. Let's dive into the details of their situation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To wait for two observables in RxJS, we can use the combine latest operator. This operator allows us to combine multiple observables and wait for all of them to emit values. Next, we will modify our code to use combine latest instead of concat. This way we can wait for both the get name and get document observables to emit their results. Now we can subscribe to the combined observable. The subscription will provide us with an array containing the results from both observables. Finally, this approach ensures that both results are available before calling the showform method, allowing you to manipulate the results as needed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To wait for two observables in RxJS, use Combine Latest. This method is preferred over deprecated options. It triggers every time either observable emits a new value. There are different operators to consider. Zip triggers only when all observables emit new values. Combine latest triggers with any new value. With latest from waits for the master observable and fork join triggers when all observables complete. For more details on these operators, check out the tutorial linked in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To wait for two observables in RxJS, you can use the combine latest method. This allows you to combine the latest values from multiple observables. In the example, we get a name observable and a document observable. By combining them, we can access both values together. Finally, we subscribe to the combined observable to execute a function when both values are available, such as showing a form. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To wait for two observables in RxJS, one effective method is to use the sample function. This allows you to emit the last value from the first observable only when the second observable emits. In this example, the first observable emits every 500 milliseconds, while the second emits every 2,000 milliseconds. You will only see the last emitted value from the first observable when the second one emits.
This approach is particularly useful for scenarios like form validation or waiting for other DOM events before processing the latest value. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To wait for two observables in RxJS, you can use either the zip or buffer methods. For concurrent requests, zip combines the results of both observables. For sequential requests, you can use concat with buffer to wait for each observable to complete before processing the results. And that's it, guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.